Leslie Picker has been monitoring some of the panels. <laughs> and she joins us now <laughs> with, uh, with some highlights. Druckenmiller, uh, for example, Stanley Druckenmiller, people don't know, obviously, longtime investor once ran the Quantum Fund. Oh, That's yeah. That's a long time ago at this point. He's been negative for a long time. And, and that he, continued. And that continued. That continued. Uh, no sea change there. We're on about our fourth panel of the day with conversations so far spanning government policy, global opportunities, investing hard truths, including that of Duquesne's Stan Druckenmiller. He just finished his fireside chat where he criticized Fed policy, saying the central bank made a, quote, big mistake and that the repercussions of not acting fast enough on inflation will, quote, be with us for a long time. As such, he's predicting a hard landing by the end of next year. Our central case is a hard landing by the end of 23, but I don't know. The, I've been wrong on a lot of things. I could be wrong on this, but since I do it for a living, that's our forecast, which is a recession in 23. And despite the market volatility and unprecedented cross currents out there, J.P. Morgan Asset and Wealth Management CEO Mary Callahan Erdos says there's actually a runway right now for market outperformance. It's actually the easiest time in the world to find alpha. Uh, there, there is alpha everywhere. The, the little title somewhere said, where is the alpha now? It's everywhere. It is irresponsible to be passive in what you're doing right now. I would say it's irresponsible. You have to be sorting through the beta in order to get to the alpha. Uh, and your investors are expecting you to do just that. Erdo said areas investors should be thinking opportunistically about right now include telecoms, semiconductors, and cybersecurity, in addition to real estate and potential currency dislocations. She called U.K. banks, and this is interesting amid this morning's news, the most interesting thing to invest in right now and urged the audience not to bet against China. She said, quote, staying invested in these markets is one of the most important things and one of the most difficult things to do.